video, we're going to show you how to machine embroider this beautiful centerpiece. It is just adorable with the trapunto look of the pumpkins and the beautiful stitching on the leaves. And I think this video will really show you how easy it is. We begin by making six of these little units. It's an applique stitch, freestanding, so it's done on water-soluble interfacing. One side is orange, one side is green, and it works best if the thread is bobbin and top orange. Even though when, it's, when it stitches out, it'll be green on one side, the orange edge will make it look like the leaf is changing. So we are going to hoop with water-soluble interfacing. I use two layers, you can use one, it's fine. We call up our pattern and we stitch a single stitch or the first stage of the applique. That will locate it to our block. We're gonna make a sandwich and that's two pieces of fabric wrong size together and then polyester bonnet batting and I've spray adhesive that together. And you make it big enough to cover all of your design and you can spray it to your hoop or just hold it. Then you're gonna single stitch again and trim the extra outside of that single stitch. We'll show you what that looks like. The next stage of the applique is the zigzag all the way around. And if you trimmed it carefully, you won't have any threads outside of that outside zig of the zag, right? And that's gonna make a nice edge when we go to satin stitch. Next stage will be satin stitch. Then we'll change our thread color to green to do the veins on the leaf. Now I finished the stitching. I changed the bobbin and the top thread to green and stitched out the veins. And I put green on one side, orange, but you can put any color on the other side. So if you wanna do red leaves, brown leaves, um, to indicate more of a fall look, you can do that. Then I'm going to soak this in water and remove the rest. It will all dissolve in the water. And then I'll put two together. Just line them up exact and stitch on the straight line. Then they open up and make the cutest little leaves. Okay, and then there's another little section that goes on top of the pumpkin to give it a little more dimension. And I've tried it with different colors, but it's so small it becomes too patchy. So I'm gonna use the same color on the center part as on the back part. And I'll show you how I do that. It's gonna be the same thing on water soluble, interfacing, and then um, a sandwich, and then satin stitch around pretty easy though, cause it'll all be orange, no changing of your thread. And we'll show you what that looks like. Now we finished assembling our little pumpkin centerpiece. It just turns out beautiful with the dimension of the leaves. We made these the center part of these pumpkins the same way with a sandwich over water soluble interfacing. And then we put it right in the center of the pumpkins and then just stitch in the ditch. And that pulls it down for added dimension. Plus it has the second layer of batting in there. So it almost looks trapunto. This just turns out gorgeous. The pattern comes with a larger size as well. So this one fits a, a thinner candle and then um, the larger pattern is also there for you to choose. Notice the different kinds of green we used on the back, which adds really cute um, look. I used the same colors to match the pumpkin behind. Just because it's so tiny, it gets to be uh, a little bit patchy, but you can change that up if you want. Hope you enjoy this. Come to our website and download this pattern. We really have it at an affordable price. Comes in all the different languages of the different brands of sewing machine. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching.